Hello. Welcome to my kitchen. You've probably seen this place before already if you were here for episode 3 of State of the Books when I made pasta with homemade meatballs, but if you're new here, this is my kitchen. I think it's safe to say that my love of reading and drawing is no secret, but I'm not sure if I've also mentioned that I like cooking too. And by cooking, I mean making an atomic mess in the kitchen. But it's fine. Probably. With the capitalist holiday called Christmas right around the corner, you've probably seen a number of festive foods in the supermarket, like peppermint bark and candy canes. But if you also like waffles and you need a good reason to stuff your face, you've come to the right place because today we're making peppermint bark waffles. I tried making these the other day and they were delicious. So yeah. If you're interested and you also want to see book talks and drawings, because I also cover those on this channel, make sure to like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into the waffle spirit. You thought I was going to say Christmas spirit, didn't you? That's a lie. There are only waffles here. Now to make these waffles, you're going to need these ingredients. Flour. Whatever you do, do not eat this raw. That's weird. And also unsafe. A pair of eggs. Mmm, eggies! Some salt. Marshmallows. Okay, marshmallows don't normally go in peppermint bark, but I like marshmallows, so here we are, I guess. I've also got some milk here. That's two-thirds of a cup. I'm probably not going to use all of it, but we'll see. You're also going to need some hot cocoa mix or something similar, along with some sugar, and of course, peppermint bark. Now, if for whatever reason peppermint bark is hard to come by, I guess you can just grab some candy canes and pulverize them into little pieces. That should also work. I hope. You're also gonna need to melt some butter. Uh, this much should probably do it. Fortunately, I have already melted some. Uh, let's see if this is... Uh... There we go. Perfect. Now, depending on how powerful your microwave is, I recommend putting the butter in for about a minute and a half. But always remember, if it's not screaming in agony, you've done something wrong. Okay, no, I'm joking. Now, the first order of business is to crack these eggies. Open sesame. Next, you have to whisk them until they're basically scrambled. Use as much brute force as you possibly can. Otherwise, what is the point? Put the sugar in there. Uh, another ingredient I forgot, and this is optional, uh, you can also put baking powder in here. Not too much. Then add your flour. Personally, I'd watch how much you put in here, because you don't want the waffle mix to be too thick, because then that's a problem. Then again, I still have to put the milk in here. What am I doing?
butter time. Okay, now it's time for this. And now, the good stuff. Again, use, use brute force. Now, you don't want too much of the peppermint bark or the marshmallows to overpower the waffle mix. Otherwise, uh, are they even waffles anymore? Come out! Come out! There we go. Now it's time for the best part. It's time to incinerate this waffle mix. In here. First, we'll need to do this so we can see what we're doing. For the record, I have a second larger waffle maker, but I'm not sure where it is, so that one will do. Yeah. Now, for the first order of business, grease this waffle iron with some butter. Once your waffle iron is hot enough, it's time to incinerate your waffle mix. Three to five minutes will usually do, but I went for three minutes for my waffles. Always make sure your waffles are done enough before you transfer them to a plate. If they still look underdone, I'd personally wait 30 more seconds or however much longer you may need. Also, make sure you put enough waffle mix in the iron to ensure you have a waffle that's extra thick. Thick with two C's, of course. I did go into this thinking I was only gonna make about four waffles like I did the first time I made these, but I, Christine of the Miscalculations, ended up making seven. So that's hot. Of course, there was no way I was gonna eat seven waffles in one sitting, so I only ate three for lunch that day. And here they are, fresh out of the waffle iron. Once your waffles are done, you can go ahead and top them with whatever you want. I just used butter, some peach ice cream, because I didn't have vanilla at the time, and also some whipped cream. If there's no whipped cream on your waffles, what is the point? Okay, no, I'm joking. And here we are. Peppermint bark waffles. Bone apple teeth. Man, that's good. So, hopefully this was a good lesson on how to make some good waffles. Uh, if you like this video and you want more book talk and shenanigans from me, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Also, stay tuned for my super special New Year's special, which is coming next week and is gonna last for the next couple weeks or so. 
I'm gonna talk about the best books I read this year and also some 2023 releases that I'm very excited for. So yeah, as I said, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.